Hey guys, it's Jay. I just wanted to come on here and make a video about tempering and kind of explain to you exactly what you need to know, um, things to avoid so you can have the best success out there. Um, so I just kind of grabbed a random item here, just this uh, Juggernaut's Chain Amulet, and kind of want to go through how you would temper it and the things that you want to be aware of. So the first thing is you have to think about what exactly you want on the item. So let's say on this item I want vulnerable damage. And the other thing I want, we could say, is we want movement speed. Um, so let's roll. So what we would do is we would roll for um, vulnerable first because it's more important to us, and then roll for the movement speed. Now, another really important thing is you can brick an item, which makes it unusable, um, because after like five or six rolls, I believe it is, you can no longer roll it. So let's just go ahead. We're looking for vulnerable here. Okay, we didn't get it. We roll again. Okay, we got it. Absolute low roll, as low as we can get, but we did get it. Um, and then we said we wanted movement speed, right? Okay, we got it. It's not an absolute low roll. Now this is perfect because this is what I wanted to talk about. Basically, you would roll this if you're okay with breaking it. Because most likely, if I tried to re-roll this, this, it bricks it because we're not guaranteed to get the vulnerable and movement speed temperings anymore. Right? We want to get a better roll, but it's very likely we're not going to even hit them and we're just going to break the item completely. So that's something to be very aware of, but it just, again, depends where you're at in the game. If you're, again, with okay with breaking this piece of gear, then yeah, go for it. If you're not, you know, you still got the temperings that you want, so you should be happy with that. And that's kind of the state of Diablo 4 at the moment in terms of tempering. Um, breaking has been a huge problem, so you just need to be aware of that because I don't want you to just lose your gear. Um, and so, yeah, just make sure you're only re-rolling these affixes um, if you're willing to break your gear. If not, just sit on them. You'll be pretty happy. Thanks.